and welcome to another episode of Our Ghost Real. My name is Curvy and I am in Surrey at a bunker that was created in 1940. So a tiny bit of history about the pillbox in Waverley Abbey Bunker, which is where I just was in Farnham uh, in Surrey is that in World War II the site was considered very important as the River Wye, uh, or Way, sorry, provided a break point in any potential advance up the Way Valley into London. So this anti-tank bunker, which uh, is where I was, was during World War II was used as a defense in the United Kingdom against possible enemy invasions um, and they were built from around 1940 and into 1941. This one here was built in 1940 um, but the bunker is or sorry was actually camouflaged as a ruin so what you see now is actually how it was which i didn't realize i thought maybe there was another roof or something on it but no they actually camouflaged it to pretend it was a ruin and then they'd have people just waiting uh to see if obviously any of the german troops would appear so I just thought that was really interesting. To be honest, that's the only bit of information I can find about this pillbox. Uh, but I hope you really enjoy the rest of the video. And I'll see you at the end. And this is an old World War bunker. And there would have been guns, or a gun, in here. So I have put down my Campbells, as you can see. I've also got my motion sensor there as well. There probably may have been a roof at some point over all of this, but what's really cool is it even has 1940 in there. Um, obviously there's not much of it left. This is pretty much all there is. So, but it is seriously cool. There is work going on over there, so if you can hear that. Um, but I just thought this was really cool, so I thought maybe there is no reported ghost stories here, but it's a bunker and it's just epic. So I thought, why not? Um, but if there is any war spirits here that would like to come forward and say hello, then you're very welcome to come and say hi to me today. I've got some cat balls there. They won't harm you. All you need to do is go up to them and basically move them. So let me just give you an example. Do, you, ooh, do that, there we go. That's all you do is that. So I'll come back out. That was me making the motion sensor go off then. If you saw that, that was me. But what I might just try and do is a quick spirit box session, see if maybe I get anything through there, like anything relevant of war time. So I'm gonna just get my spirit box out, I think. Right, so if there's any, Oh, my cable's going off, my cable's going off, my cable's going off, my cable's going off. Don't want to see it. Oh, but my cable over there is going off. Thank you very much if you set that off. Thank you. That's so interesting. Um, okay. Right, could you make one of the other cables go off for me? Could you do that for me? You now know how they work. 
That's really interesting. Because I've been here quite a while now and the Campbells have not gone off and now one has just gone off. Okay. So, if there's any spirits here, my name is Corrine. I mean, you know harm. Is there anyone here from World War? If so, what was life like for you here? What position were you in? What do you remember happening here? are you? Did you lose your life here? Got something through there. I don't really know what that was. Hmm. I'm gonna just uh, turn our ghost tube as well, I think. Right, so I've just turned ghost tube on. So that's on there now. The cable's not gone off again since. The ghost tube is still absolutely silent, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do an EVP session. Um, the only issue is, obviously, there is whatever is going on over there. So it's probably going to be hard for me to hear. However, maybe I'll get something, maybe I won't. So I'm going to put my EVP recorder over here because this is, again, where this went off over here. So we'll put it down there. Why does it not want to record? So EVP session in Bunker in Surrey, session one. So as I said, my name is Corrine. I mean you no harm whatsoever. I've placed a little device over there. Okay, and what you can do is you can go and speak into it. Now you might have to be very loud for me because there is a lot of background noise. So it's going to be quite hard for me to hear you. But uh, I hope you don't mind, I've got a few questions for you. If that's okay. So my first question is, what regiment were you in? Could you go and tell me in that little box over there? Although you don't have to answer my questions, by the way, if you don't want to. So as I said, my name is Kareen. I mean you no harm whatsoever. I've placed a little device over there. Okay, and what you can do is you can go and speak into it. Now you might have to be very loud for me because there is a lot of background noise. So it's gonna be quite hard for me to hear you. But uh, I hope you don't mind, I've got a few questions for you. 
if that's okay. So my first question is, what regiment were you in? Could you go and tell me in that little box over there? Although you don't have to answer my questions, by the way, if you don't want to. How old are you? That's from over there. That's actually people, people. So that's not paranormal. If you can hear the banging. How many people were in your squadron? Or how many people, sorry, were stationed here? How many people were in your squadron? Or how many people, sorry, were stationed here? What was life like for you in the war? I'm curious. I bet it was horrible. I bet it was tough. Ghost Tube still has not said a thing. So that's actually really interesting because when I do get results then, Fanet is literally said absolutely nothing here. And I'm just still checking. Did I? I do have it on loud, didn't I? Yeah, I do. It's on full volume. So I didn't double check it was on full volume. It is on full volume. So it's really interesting that it's not gone off once here because it makes everywhere else where it does go off a bit more compelling. Because what, I've been here mm, over 10 minutes now and this has been on 10 minutes at least now and it said absolutely nothing. So that's really interesting. Are you having a hard time moving on? Do you have a message or anything for your family? If there are spirits here, can you tell me your names, please? As I said, my name is Kareen. Okay. Yeah. Just gonna go and pick up the recorder now, I think. Play it back. Let's see. So EVP session in bunker in Surrey. Session one. So as I said, my name is Kareen. I mean you no harm whatsoever. You might have to be very loud.
doing a very quick EMF sweep here just to see if I get anything. This shouldn't obviously shouldn't go off because there is no electricity in here, so there shouldn't be any reason this would go off at all. Problem is I can't actually <laughs> There you go, so you can actually see it. Oops. Um, okay, so Ghost Troop has really not said anything. The, also, the cat ball has not gone off since. I'm not getting any spirit box responses now at all. Um, so it's like whatever's here has decided to depart, I think. <laughs> so So I'm probably gonna call it quits, to be honest, because nothing is happening now. And I'm kind of just sitting here talking to myself in a room. <laughs> but it is a very, very cool location, though, I have to say. Um, it's a shame there's a lot going on here. But it's an awesome location. So if you are here, could you say goodbye to me using that device there? It's not going to harm you or hurt you or anything. But could you, could you say goodbye to me using that, please? My name is Corrine. I mean, you know harm, as I said. If there's any spirits here, maybe I can try and help you or something. I'm back in the car after exploring the bunker. Um, I left because I didn't feel like I was getting anything um, at all, to be honest, there. But I still hope that you enjoyed this one anyway. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And I shall see you guys next time for another episode of Our Ghost Real. Bye for now.